And what about that magic sour cream? I have a map. I'll go get it. This looks like a booby trap. for one cup. Whoa! This recipe's been in the family for a century. In your favorite saucepan, take one cup of sugar and two cups of brown sugar and pack that measuring cup and one cup of sour cream and heat this on low heat to 238 degrees. That's the middle of the softball stage in Sugar Talk. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. It's real thick and you can see the sugar granules right now. But it loosens up a lot. Right around 200 degrees, it'll start bubbling. And see how it increases in volume and starts to fill the pan more? Make sure you leave room in your pan for this or you'll have a hot mess. And it's always that last eight degrees that seems to take forever. There, it's ready. Pour it into your mixer bowl and add two tablespoons of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Vanilla always likes to go in last or it gets angry. Mm -hmm. And let it cool to around 100, 110 degrees. This is why we use the metal bowl instead of the glass one. Glass keeps the heat longer. We also cheat and put it in a bowl of ice water. Those are meltless ice cubes there. They don't melt in your drink either. Give the hot caramel a stir every few minutes so it doesn't end up solidifying against the cold metal side. Look how more solid it gets as it cools. You can whisk it to cool it down to room temperature too. You want it the same temperature as your butter. That's gonna go in in a little bit. Otherwise, you'll end up with melted butter and caramel. But right now, add two tablespoons of cream to loosen it up. You can add more later if you need to. You wanna get this to the same temperature as your butter. Our magic number is 65 degrees. Yeah, 65 degrees. Then whisk in a chunk at a time. A chunk is about two tablespoons. Scrape down the bowl about halfway through to make sure you're getting everything fully mixed in. It'll turn a lighter color because you're whisking in a lot of air as well as the butter. Look at that delicious lusciousness. Now let's frost these cakes with the caramel goodness. Later on, add some swirls and be decorative. It's your homemade cake from scratch. Scratch is always better. You got that right, Captain Breadhook. It's always an adventure baking with you. You too, Frida. You're the best flavor fairy in the world. Leave a comment. It makes our day.